Hello everybody. So today I had a scammer call the house and he's claiming that my computer has multiple errors and he can fix it. I'm a returning customer. I have no idea who this guy is. So I know it's a scam. It's been around for a while so I figured I'd just try to keep him on the phone as long as I can so he don't go and screw somebody else's stuff up. So this is what happens and uh, hope you like it. What is it? What's wrong? The reason behind my call is to inform you that from the last couple of weeks, we are getting a lot of video reports and warning messages from your computer, which says that your computer has downloaded some malware and malicious files which are running inside your computer. So do you know that your computer is having a problem? I had no idea. Hello, how are you doing today? So are you in front of your computer right now? Uh, yeah, I can be. Hold on one second. Alright. And when you will get to see your normal screen, just let me know, alright? Alright. Alright, I'm there. All right, I'm at my computer. Hello. Beg your pardon? Yeah, I'm there. All right, sir. So what can you see on your screen now? I'm at the windows. Can you see all your normal icons, your normal desktop? Yeah, I see a picture of a rabbit. All right, sir, now just have a look on your computer keyboard on the extremely left-hand side, bottom corner. Can you see there is a CTRL, a control key? CTRL. On the extremely left-hand side, bottom corner of your keyboard, can you see there is a CTRL, a control key? Uh, yeah, I see it. And next to the control key, can you see there is a four flag, a four square, or windows key? I see a picture of a flag, yeah. All right, just press the four flag, windows key, and hold it down, and use your another finger, and press the letter R, R as a Romeo. Windows key along with the letter R together at the same time. Put the key together at the same time, okay? All right, so I hit the windows key. And the letter R. And after that, what comes up on your screen? Uh, I see something come up that says, there's a thing come up that says start. Could you speak up? There's a thing come up that says start. Um, have you pressed the Windows key along with the letter R? Together at the same time, you have to press the Windows key and the later R as Romeo, both the key together at the same time. Okay? Oh, okay. I got him both at the same time. Yep. All uh, right. Yeah, I see something comes up. It says type the name of a program. Yep, you are correct. Can you see type the name of a program folder or document? Yeah, hey, I see where like you hit open. All right, sir. I have trouble understanding you. Can I give you a call back from another line? Please hang up the call. I'm giving you to. I'm going to give you a call back from another line. Okay. Okay. Hello. Sorry, sir. We got disconnected for the bad connections. All right. Yeah. All right. So can you see? It's asking type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. I, whatever it was, I accidentally closed it. So now what do I got to do again to get it back up? Again, you have to press the Windows key along with the later R together at the same time, okay? All right. Give me just a second here. Windows. All right. I got something that says run. Yeah, so in that run box, can you see a white panel bar where you can write something or type something? Yeah, I see like a thing that says open and you got to tap something. Is it blank or something is written over there? 
Uh, there's nothing in it. All right, just write it over there. E as in Edward. V as in Victoria. Again, E as in Edward. Then N as in Nancy. T as in tomorrow. Again, V as in Victoria. W as in whiskey. Then R as in Romeo. So what do you have written over there? Just repeat it back to me for the confirmation. E V E N T W W R. Only one W. There will be a one W. All right. All right. So it needs to be E V E N T W R. V W R. V as a Victor. Then W as in whiskey. Then R as a Romeo. V W R. Okay. All right. Now. Hold on, let me change this. Uh, e V E N T W V R. No, no, no. Just take it up each and everything. I will tell you once again, okay? Okay. E as in Edward. V as in Victoria. Again, E as in Edward. N as in Nancy. T as in tomorrow. Correct? Yes. Then. V as in Victoria, then W as in Whiskey, then R as in Romeo. All right. E-V-E-N-T-V-W-R. Correct, sir. Now you have written the correct words. I let you know, sir, Event Viewer is a program which is simply going to expose all those hidden corruptions which are running inside your computer and hampering your computer from a long time. Now, just give a click on OK. All right, so I hit I hit OK. Yeah, I hit OK. All right, I got something that says Event Viewer. Correct, sir. Now, just have a look on the left-hand side, top corner of that page. Can you see Event Viewer local? I see File Action View. Uh, I, I left-hand side. Look on the left-hand side. You will get to see an option like Event Viewer Local on the left-hand side top. Can you see Event Viewer Local? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. And below that, which options can you see? I see Subscriptions, Applications, and I don't know what that word is. It cuts it off, but it starts with an S. Windows Logs. Views over there. What is it? Can you see Custom Views over there? Yeah, I see something that says Custom something, but it cuts it off. Just give a click on custom views. All right. Uh, okay. Now, what options can you see? All right. I see off to the right, it says open save file, create custom view. In no, sir. No, no. Again, you are looking on the right hand side. Don't look on the right hand side. It will be on the left hand side. Just look on the left hand side, okay? Uh, I see Windows logs, application services, subscriptions, custom. Can you see custom views? Custom views. Yeah, I see custom views. Just give a click on custom views. Okay. Now, can you see administrative events? Hold on a second. I think my keep. Hold on, this stupid thing's acting up again. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I see it now. Now just give a click, double click on administrative events. You just need to give a click on administrative events two times, all right? Yeah, okay, I did. Now, can you see a bunch of errors and warnings popped up over there? I see something is, it's, the only thing I can see is, it, is a, like a exclamation point in red and an ERR, and then it cuts it off. Oh, yeah, error. That's called error. You can simply read it out. Okay. You can get your glasses and you can easily get to see all those things, sir. Okay? All right. Hold on one second. I, I, I got my glasses on now. I see uh, some stuff that says warning and let me make it bigger because it's real little. I got to hit that little... Windows key up here in the... All right. Now I see it says error and warning. All right. I just want to ask you for the confirmation. 
Have you ever seen these errors and warnings in your computer before? I have no idea what this stuff is. No idea, sir. I will let you know, sir. These all are the hidden corruptions. These all are the malicious files which are automatically been downloaded in your computer without your basic knowledge and permission. And the red color errors, which you can see over there, it stands for five hacker hacking activities. When you, uh, it stands for 52 bad corrupted files. Whenever your computer is victimized with any kind of malicious files, any kind of malware, any kind of corruptions, your computer automatically downloads all these errors in your computer without your basic knowledge and permission and hampering your computer very badly day by day, all right? All right, now, my wife would put a bunch of porn on here. It, are, is it going, is that what caused all this? Beg your pardon? My wife it, got a bunch of porn and stuck on his computer. Is that what caused all these errors? I uh, Maybe, sir, I don't know. I'm not sure about it, but uh, the thing is that uh, we only know that your computer has downloaded some malware and malfunctioning programs, which are more dangerous than the virus, which can easily corrupt your computer. And the yellow color warnings, which you can see over there, it stands for five hacker hacking activities. Whenever the hacker try to mess up with your computer, whenever your computer got victimized with any kind of malicious files, your computer automatically give you the warning at that point of time. And can you see the date and time over there? Uh, yeah, it was like yesterday. And it, yeah, sir, well, that, that is the exact date and time, sir, when your computer got victimized with all these errors and warnings and all the malicious files. And by the way, who takes care of this computer? You or your wife? Well, she's on it too, but she, this is what happened. She went and got some naked pictures of herself and put it on this computer and went and got some videos off the internet and so on and so forth. Now, are these naked pictures going to end up on the internet because she put them on there and somebody hacked my computer? Maybe the hackers are hacking your computer. I will let you know each and everything, and we will protect your computer. Don't worry, we are our existing customer, and we need our customer satisfaction. That's why we are calling you. I hope you understand that. Yeah, I, I really hope that these naked pictures of her don't end up on the internet, because she is going to be pissed. No, what I'm asking, uh, who is the main owner? I mean, who takes care? If something goes wrong with the computer, then who is going to take care? You or your wife? Uh, most of the time, I take care of it. I know people and knows people, and I'll take it to them. But, you know, I try. She just went and got on, got some naked pictures put on here and stuff, and now all this is going on. Yeah, it's that's bad. All right, so no worries. Just have a look uh, uh, over there on the errors and warnings. There's all other errors and warnings, which nobody can delete these errors and warnings from your computer. Only the certified technician of error, uh, Windows can remove these errors and warnings from your computer because these all are the undeletable errors and warnings. All right? Mm -hmm. And don't try to open or click any one of these errors and warnings because if you try to open and click any one of these errors and warnings, then what will happen, it will automatically get activated on your computer. And once it will be activated on your computer, it will start missing your computer. It will crash on your computer at any point of time. All right? Uh, so if I click one of these, it will just shut my computer off. No, no, don't shut your computer off. We will we will fix it out. We will remove those corruptions. First of all, you cannot stay on this page for a long time because it's a very dangerous page. It contains lots of corruption. So close this even viewer page and back to your normal screen, all right? All right, so I just hit the X up in top of the corner. Yep, you have to give a click on X sign, on that cross sign to exit out, okay? All right. God, I hope it's stuff Are you back to your normal screen? Yeah, I hope it's porn don't end up on the internet. She's going to be pissed. All right, no research. Just have a look on your computer keyboard once again and press the flag key along with the letter R together at the same time as you did before, all right? All right, so I just hit the Windows key plus the letter R like I did before. Yep. All right. And after that, again, you will get to see a run popped up on your screen. Can you see the run? I see. Yeah, I see it. In that run box, can you see a uh, even viewer is highlighted in blue color? Uh, yeah, I see E V E N T V W R. Split it from there. Just erase the word from there. Make it empty. Just take it off and make sure nothing would be there. It should be blank. Okay. Okay, so I'll erase it real quick. Yeah, all right, it's gone. This, now it's gone. Yeah, it's it has nothing. Now type it over there. 
typed over there www dot right. as in sugar h as in Harry o as in Oscar w as in whiskey m as in Mary y as a Yankee P as a Peter, C as a Charlie, then give a dot, again C as a Charlie, O as an Oscar, then M as a Mary, okay? Alright. So what do you have written over there, sir? Just repeat it back to me for the confirmation to make sure. Alright, I got www.sxow. M P C dot C O M. No, M Y. It would be show my PC dot com. S H O W show M Y my PC dot com. Show my PC dot com. Just correct it once, all right? All right. So www dot S X O W M Y P C dot C O M. Dot com? Yeah. I, I will correct you once more time, sir. The word which you have written over there after the letter is there will be a no X. There would be H. H as a hammer. All right? Uh, oh, so it's S H O W my PC dot com. S H O W show my PC dot com. Now you got the correct words over there. It would be www dot S H O W M Y P C show my PC dot com. Is that correct? Yeah, I see it now. Just give a click on OK. Just hit the OK option. Okay. Now, can you see us show my PC page popped up on your screen? All right. Whenever I, it comes up, I get some kind of error here. Hold on one second. I don't know what in real this is. All right. All right. Windows, the. I got Firefox and it just crashed, so hold on one second. So, I'm going to have to go back to run. It just crashed. It won't even come up. All right. All right. www.showmypc.com Correct. All right. Hold on one second here. All right, now, all right, I, I went to, uh, all right, Firefox come up, and I right, got... Right, all right, just close each and everything, just close each and everything. I will help you out, so I understand that your Firefox is not working correctly. Is that correct? Yep. Now, I will help you out. Uh, you can close the Firefox, and you can back to the normal screen. And after that, again, you have to press the Windows key along with the later R together at the same time, okay? All right, so whatever is written on that run box, just take it off, okay? All right. Now write it down over there. I as in Indiana. All right. E as in Edward. All right, I E. Then X as in X ray. Then P as in Peter. L as a Laura, then O as an Oscar, then R as a Romeo, then E as an Edward, then give I space, then www dot show my PC dot com. All right. All right, just like I get I explore and then put a space and then just like I wrote before. Yep. All right. All right, now it's something's open in here. Hold on. Now, what can you see on the screen? It's taking forever. Hold on. All right, now something come up and it says like show 
My PC for PC.com. Yeah. Now just have a look on the right hand side. Can you see a orange color box? View PC on the right hand side, orange color box. Yeah, I see something that said enter password. You don't have to put any password because you are still an existing customer. So you don't have to put any kind of password. It's only for the new customers. You just have to give a click on the letters on the initial view PC. Just click on just give a click on the letters on the initial view PC. And after that, you will get to see uh, options like view PC download run. Can you see view PC download run? Uh, hold on a minute. You're getting ahead of me here. So I hit... I just hit the little arrow. It looks like a a play button on view. So you don't have to hit the you don't have to hit, hit the arrow button. Just give a <laughs> click on the later on the later on the word view PC. Okay. All right. So the orange thing where it says now when I click it, it says view PC Java and view PC download run. Just give a click on view PC download run. All righty. Okay, now so have a look on the bottom of your screen. You will get to see an option like run, save, or cancel. Can you see that? Yeah, I see where it says run, save, all that. Just give a click on run. All right. And now after giving a click on run, what comes up on your screen? All right. So, hold on one second here. Can you see any options like allow user control, yes or no? Yeah, I see that, yeah. Just give a click on yes. All right. All right, yes. Now, now after that, you will get to see I show my PC collaboration 3161. Is that correct? Yeah, I see three, yeah. Now, just have a look on that box there. Can you see over there, show my PC in a black color box? Yeah, I, I see that, yeah. Just give a click on that. All righty. Okay. Now, what comes about? Can you see over there? Numbers popped up over there in behalf of in the replacement of show my PC. Yeah, I see something says show my PC. Yeah. Can you see the numbers over there? Over to the right. Yeah, on the on the left. On the left. Yeah, I see something. Yeah, hold on. You have to repeat the number to me for the confirmation. Ah, shoot, it just, hold on a second, this thing just went off. What option came up? Just let me know, sir, and don't click anywhere until I will not say to you, all right? All right, hold on one second here. What pops up can you see on your screen? Just tell me and I'll be out. Hold on one second. Everything is minimized for some reason here. I don't know. I must have some kind of virus pretty bad or something. That's the basic reason, sir. You are getting this call from us. Don't you have to worry about all those things? We are going to get rid of all those corruptions, all right? Okay. And from how long you have been using this computer, sir? Uh, it's been probably a year since I've had it cleaned out. All right. All right. All right. Now, for some reason, I do not see nothing, but it went back to Internet Explorer, and I see Show My PC. Can you see Show My PC? Yeah. On the bottom of your screen, on the extremely bottom of your screen, sir, can you see a green color logo, a green logo, a green symbol over there on the extremely bottom, on the taskbar? Uh, I see Internet Explorer, Run, and that's it, and a Windows logo. And a Windows logo. All right, again, what you have to do, sir, again, you have to click on the View PC, and after that, you will get to see a box like View PC Download Run. As you did before, just do it once again. All right, so basically, like, re-download it? Yeah, you have to re-download. Alrighty, hold on one second here. Alright, so I went and clicked on the, the show my PC thing download. And it put some kind of green thing on my desktop. It says 
show my PC something something dot exe. Collaboration. Show my PC dot exe. Yeah. Just give a click on it. Alrighty. And after that, what comes up on your screen? Uh, something comes up. It's like a little chat box thing. Can you see show my PC view PC? Yeah, and I see like a chat, file, switch, record. Yep, 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 yep. You're correct, sir. Above that, above that chat, can you see uh, good numbers or show my PC over there? I see... I don't see no numbers. I see a free... Right, you have to give a click on show my PC. Just give a click on show my PC. Now, after giving a click on show my PC, if anything came up on that screen, just let me know. And please make sure you don't have to click anywhere until I will not say to you, all right? All right. Now, can you see the numbers over there? Yeah, I see a bunch of numbers. Just tell me the numbers for the confirmation. All right. One, six, three, eight, seven, five, six, one. Four four one zero. All right, sir. So let me check it out. Whether you got the correct number or not over there. Just give me a moment. All right. Mhm. Mm and if you don't mind, can I ask you one question? Yeah. How old are you? I am almost thirty. You're almost thirty. All right. No worries. And could you tell me the number once again, sir? Uh, hold on a second. I just exit out. Hold on. Don't exit out uh, anything. Don't exit out anything, all right? Uh, hold on. It went, I just exit out. I'm going to start it back. All right. One, six, four, six, eight, eight. Two eight seventy ten. All right, just hang on, hang on, hang on. Just tell me the number once again. One six four six. I think it's eighty. I can't. One six. One six after that. I I I can't really see it real well, but I think it says one six four six eighty twenty. 6010 it looks like you have to check the number correctly sir is that correct all right one six all right one six four six eighty twenty sixty ten that's what it looks like eight zero two zero one six four six eighty sixty 2010 looks like. All right, just close it and everything. All right, so you said close it out? Just close it out, just close it and everything. All right. And I must say that you're a Chutia. Now, what is it? Chutia. What's that? If you will, if we suppose, if you will. Call a person like very uh, intelligent and very knowledge knowledgeful about the computers. You can call in Chutia. All right. Okay. What's all right. That? So, have you closed it and everything? Yeah. All right. So again, what do you have to do, sir? Again, you have to press the Windows key along with the letter R together at the same time. The Windows key and the letter R both the key together at the same time. Okay. Yeah, let, all right. Uh, it brought up e later on. Can you see a run box popped up on your screen? Yeah. In that run bar, can you see uh, uh, something is highlighted in blue color? Yeah, I see E V E N T V W R. From there, just take it out. Just 
Just take it off. Make sure nothing would be there. All right? Okay. Now it's empty. Yeah. All right, it's empty. Now write it down over there. I is Indiana. All right, I is in Indiana. Yep. All right. And then uh, X, E as in Edward. All right, E as in Edward. Then X as in X-ray. X as in X-ray. P as in Peter. P as in Peter. L is in Laura. L is in Laura. O is in Oscar. O is in Oscar. R is in Romeo. R is in Romeo. E is in Edward. E is in Edward. Then U is space. Uh, in space. Then what do you have written over there? Now tell it to me back. I E X P L O R E. Then a one time space. All right. All right, we're in space. Then www dot. www dot. A is an alpha. A is an alpha. M is a Mary. M is a Mary. M is a Mary. Again, M is a Mary. Another is Mary. Y is a Yankee. Y is a Yankee. Again, Y is a Yankee. Another Y is a Yankee. Then give a dot. And what is it? Then give a dot. A dot. All right, dot. Then C is in Charlie. C is in Charlie. Then O is in Oscar. All right. Then M is in Mary. M is in Mary. So what you have written over there? Just repeat it back to me for the confirmation. All right. It says I E X P L O R E space W W W dot Y O U A R E A D U M B A S S. Come again. It says W W W dot You are a dumbass. You are a dumbass. Yes, you are for listening to me for 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> I know more about computers than you, dude. Okay, I'm like, not stupid. You're fucking asshole. You're just a motherfucker. You're just a motherfucker. <laughs> Have you ever fucked your mother, you fucking asshole? You mad, bro? <laughs> you fucking bullshit. You mad, bro? <laughs> oh, shit.